The Office of Management and Budget says it's asking for more disaster relief as FEMA is running low on funds. The organization issued a statement that the Biden administration is seeking an additional $4 billion for FEMA's disaster relief fund. This funding would be in addition to the administration's request submitted a few weeks ago for a total of $16 billion. In recent months, the nation's been faced with natural disasters, including fires on Maui in Louisiana and across the country, massive flooding in Vermont, and most recently a major hurricane that hit Florida and the southeast. The Biden White House is calling on Congress to pass a temporary spending bill which would keep Washington, D.C. running. The government is set to go broke later this month when the current fiscal year comes to an end. The White House says funding is necessary to pay for assistance-based initiatives, but there's a laundry list of disagreements between congressional officials keeping the threat of a potential shutdown alive. We send it over to Alan Miller now for more. Well, Monica, a Georgia judge says the public will have the opportunity to watch court proceedings in former President Trump's Georgia election interference case on television and online, unlike his upcoming trials in Florida, New York, and Washington, D.C. A Fulton County Superior Court judge said the proceedings in the case will also be live streamed on the court's YouTube channel. Cameras are permitted in Georgia court proceedings with the judge's approval. Mr. Trump has pleaded not guilty and also told the court that he would not appear in person for the scheduled arraignment next week. A trial date hasn't been scheduled yet. Georgia's governor says he will not call a special session to remove Fonnie Willis. Some Republican legislators continue to demand a special session to investigate the Fulton County District Attorney's prosecution of Trump and others on election interference charges. Governor Brian Kemp says he does not have the legal authority to call one and said he has not seen that Willis has done anything illegal. And one of the stories we're working on for First News at 6, the prosecution has one more witness to call next week in the murder trial of a 17-year-old in Bismarck. We'll have the latest. Back to you, Monica.